It's a renewal for the American economy. It's a renaissance for the U.S. energy industry. A resurgence of the types of jobs and opportunities that improve quality of life. It touches the lives of every American. It reaches from our local schools and universities to our manufacturing sectors. A ripple effect that is emerging from Houston, Texas, the energy capital of the world, and providing essential products to the global market. It means we can afford a larger house for the kids. It's how our nation has regained control of its energy future. It's why Houston is one of the fastest growing cities in America. It's why Texas is the economic role model for the rest of the country. Real jobs. Real growth. Real progress. This is the new reality of America's current economic transformation. This is the real progress that's been created thanks to the energy revolution brought about by shale gas and hydraulic fracturing. And this is the reason that here today, we not only mark the construction of our new multi-billion dollar ethane steam cracker, we salute the innovation and investment that makes far-reaching projects such as this possible. We celebrate the tremendous economic impact it will have on the individuals and businesses all over Houston and throughout Texas. And we thank those of you here for having the vision and commitment to help make this happen. This Baytown expansion project represents ExxonMobil Chemical Company's largest U.S. investment ever. The new world-scale steam cracker means our largest ethylene producer anywhere has once again raised the bar on total capacity. The two new units we're adding at our Mont Bellevue Plastics Plant will make Texas our largest polyethylene supply point in the world. This capacity increase will help ExxonMobil meet the rapidly growing demand for high-value polyethylene products. Natural gas liquids are superheated, separated into chemicals, and converted into plastic. Then those plastic products create the building materials, the cars, the household, and medical products that improve our quality of life. Plastics that are the product of choice because they make lightweight packaging for uses like preserving food. Plus, it means the trucks transporting the products use less fuel to get them to market. The Port of Houston's already the uh, number one exporting port in the United States, and the future for the port looks extremely bright. But the most meaningful end products of this expansion are seen in human terms, right here in Baytown, throughout the Houston region, and all over Texas including 10,000 construction jobs and 4,000 related jobs in the Houston communities. There is definitely a lot of jobs out there and, and always the opportunity for growth. It's awesome, you know, because it's job security for uh, in everybody, you know. Everybody that's around here that wants to stay working. All of the new growth is absolutely the biggest change I've seen in real estate. It's exciting for the Baytown community. It's exciting for the housing market. 10,000 construction jobs. They'll have to live here. They'll have to support our community and 350 permanent jobs. Well, that's an exciting number. <laughs> I'd love to sell all 350 of them a house. <laughs> the expansion will ultimately add 350 permanent positions to the 6,000 already at ExxonMobil's Baytown complex and will increase regional economic activity by approximately $870 million a year. Plus, it's expected to generate more than $90 million per year in additional tax revenues for our local communities. It's a great time to be in our community. I have had uh, many talks with long-term Baytonians who say that they basically have never seen anything like this as far as uh, the amount of, of activity that we're seeing in, in, in retail, commercial, uh, housing starts, uh, just virtually every sector of the economy. We're not just talking about creating sustainable products, we're also talking about building sustainable careers. Which is why ExxonMobil is working with nine Houston area community colleges using a $1 million grant to increase the focus on technical training and workforce development. A program expected to involve 50,000 students and educators in the next five years. 
the community colleges are recruiting high school graduates, returning military veterans, and other Texans to capitalize on the high paying and stable jobs in the chemical industry. Great jobs in an industry that on average pays around $100,000 per year in Texas. These are dynamic opportunities that when a student really understands that if I go through this program and experience and get trained, that the outcome, the skills, the knowledge that I'm going to have are not only going to be something that will help me be successful as I pursue a career in the petrochemical industry, but it's going to be very satisfying. It's going to be satisfying personally, professionally, and certainly financially. Currently two years in, one semester away from a promising career, I'm looking forward to it. I'm in the Analyzing Technology program at San Jacinto College, and I have a job lined up that pays double what I've been making. With this degree, I'll be able to uh, have a job that has better benefits and higher pay. All the job opportunities are there, and I couldn't be any more happy with my decision. The ExxonMobil Baytown expansion is part of a more than $100 billion U.S. chemical industry investment in American economic growth and job creation. This enormous investment is all due to the opportunities and advantages our nation has with its unique combination of capital, technology, and affordable, abundant oil and natural gas resources. It is the very reason why Texas is the number one exporter in the U.S. and the largest chemical exporter in the nation. It's how our nation has now surpassed Saudi Arabia as the largest oil and gas liquids producer in the world. It's why the U.S. is in a position to become a net exporter of energy. The shale play is simply so much bigger than any of us thought it would be when we first heard about it. You know, we thought it might generate some exploration and production activity around certain parts of the country. Well, today it's really driving the national economy. It accounts for a very large percentage of the jobs that have been created in the last two or three years. When people talk about the petrochemical expansions, I tell them, well, beyond that, there'll be a whole manufacturing renaissance because we're going to take the products from these facilities and we'll be manufacturing things in Houston that for years have been manufactured overseas. So the ripple effect is pretty profound, uh, not just in Baytown, but worldwide. The transformations created by the shale gas and hydraulic fracturing revolution are far reaching and far from over. For our local communities. For our state. For our whole nation. Throughout history, there are those special moments when a place suddenly possesses the ability to truly transform the lives of its people. Its businesses. Its future generations. We are living in just such a time. We are living in that very place. Together, Together we all now share the power to energize Houston.